right now we are in we are entering into refraction of light at color surface now we'll see in the uh, Refraction of light. Refraction of light. Light at curved surface. Curved surface. This is a uh, another chart. This is a uh, one more chart. Refraction of light at curved surface. Curved surface. Now, so in previous class. So we have to learn refraction of light at plane surfaces. But we are entering into refraction of light at the curved surfaces. The curved surfaces. Now in this chapter, so what we are going to learn is uh, you see that you see this is a this is a suppose for example this is a cylindrical vessel. Now, this is a cylindrical vessel filled with water. This is a filled with the water. And this is outside. This is a outside. This is a aspirated with air. This is a curved surface. This is a curved surface. This is a curved surface. Curved surface. Curved surface. This is a curved surface. Curved surface uh, separates the medium. This is a medium one. This is a medium. This curved surface separates the n one and n two. N one and n two. This curved surface uh, separates uh, two medium. This is medium one. This is medium two. Medium one means air. Medium two means water. Medium two means Water. So now here n means uh, refractive index of uh, air medium, and to means refractive index of water. Refractive index of the water. Water. Now you will see we are we are going to we are going to learn a few basic points about the refraction of light at curved surfaces. What what of the we are going to learn means that is the center of curvature. Center of curvature, curvature, center of curvature. That is the letter is it, it is denoted by C letter. Next to pole. Next to center of curvature. Center of uh, center of Center of curvature for and principal axis, principal axis, principal axis. Next to normal line, normal line, normal line. So next to focal, focal length, focal point. Okay, radius of curvature, whatever. Okay, we are going to learn this one. Center of curvature. This is center of curvature. It is denoted by the C letter. This is a pole. It is denoted by the letter is a P. This is a principal axis. No letter. This is the normal means and means the capital L. It is denoted by the capital S. Capital S. Now couple the point. Center of curvature means uh, center of curvature. <coughs> center of curvature. Center of curvature means uh, center of curvature. <clears throat> center of sphere. Uh, center of sphere of which curved surface, curved surface, surface is a part. Is a 
part. It's a part. It's called as. It's called as center of gravity. It's part. It's part. Center of sphere of which curved surface is a part. It's called as. It's called as center of curvature. Center of curvature. Curve. Curvature. Center of curvature. Center of curvature. Center of curvature means uh, center of sphere. Center of uh, center of sphere, uh, sphere of which curved surface is a part is called as center of curvature. Center of curvature. Now this is I'm taking C point. Center of curvature. Now next is the pole. This is a pole. We know this is a curved surface. Curved surface. Center of this is center. Center of curved surface. Curved surface. Curved surface. Center of curved surface. Center of center of curved surface is called as called as Uh, call as pole. Call as pole. This is the way of calling pole. Center of curve. This is the center of the curved surface. This is the center. Center of curved surface. It's called as pole. This is the center of sphere of which curved surface is a part. It's called as center of curvature. This is a center of color surface is called as a, is called as is called as a pole. Now principal axis. Principal axis means a strike line. Line line this line joins this point and pole and the center of curvature. Line joins pole and center of curvature. Center of curvature is called as principal axis. A line joins 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 pole and uh, pole and center of curvature. Center of curvature. Line joins the pole of joints two. Line joins two. Pole and the center of curvature. It's called as the principal axis. This is a line joint pole and center of curvature. It's called as principal axis. Principal axis. We're calling principal axis. Principal axis. That is the point. This is very important. Next to normal. 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 So one point the center of curvature. This is a point. This is a center of curvature. Any one point on the curved surface. Any one point on the uh, curved uh, surface. Line joints. Line joints. Line. This is a line joints center curvature to the any point on the curved surface. It's called as this is a normal. This is a normal. This is a normal. Normal means line joints. Is Line joint, line, line joint, joints to a point center of curvature, center of curvature to the any point on the any point on on curved curved surface, curved surface, curved surface. Curved surface. Line joints to center curvature to any point on the curved surface is called as normal. This is a one point, this is another point. This is a one more point. This is another point on a curved surface. Line joints, line, line joints, center curvature to any point on the curved surface. We call this is a normal. Angle. This is a one more normal. This is a one more normal. One more. 
This is one word, normal, this is another normal. What do you see in direction of normal? This is a direction of normal here, this is another direction of the normal. Direction of normal changes from point to point on a direction of normal. Direction of normal. Direction of normal. Normal changes. Changes from one point to other point. One point to one point to another point. Another point on curved surface. Curved surface. So, direction of normal changes from one point to another point on the curved surface. Curved surface. The direction of normal changes. Direction of normal changes from or one point to another point on the curved surface. This is a basic point. This is a basic point. So this is a basic point. We know very well. Uh, chapter is this is a chapter refraction. Refraction of light. Refraction of light at the curved surface. So first of all, this is a cylinder. The cylinder is a transparent cylinder. This is uh, filled with water. The water, this is the we are taking refract when it is into, into it, refract when it's the water. This is N1 means the refract when it's the air. This curved surface, curved surface, separates uh, air, uh, refract when it's of air and uh, refract when it's of the water. This curved surface uh, separates uh, refract when it's of the air and refract when it's of the water. Now, center of curvature. Center of curvature means the uh, center of the sphere of which curved surface is above is called as center of curvature. Next, pole. Pole means uh, center of, this is the center of the curved surface. It's called as the uh, pole. That is a pole. Next, the principal axis. This is a pole. This is the center of curvature. Line joins the pole and the center of curvature. It's called as the principal axis. Principal axis. Next, normal. This is a this is a point of point on the that is the center of curvature. Any point on the on the curved surface line joins the center of curvature to any point on the curved surface. The time is called as normal. But the direction of normal changes from one point to another point. This is a direction of the normal. This is a direction. This is a another direction. This is a one point on the curved surface. This is another point on the curved surface. From this point to this point, direction of normal is uh, both are in a uh, different direction. Different direction. That's why direction of normal changes from one point to another point on the curved surface. Curved surface, this is a basic point. Now I'm going to explain the rule. Rule. Rule number one. What is the rule? We are going to see rules. This is a curved surface. This is cylinder, transparent cylinder. This is transparent cylinder is filled with water. Filled with water. This is a center of curved surface. This is a center of curvature. This is a center of curved surface. It's called as pole. This is center of curvature. This is the pole. Now, Saturn is passes through here. We call this is the principal axis. Principal axis. We know very well this is a normal point. Normal point. This is a we call normal. This is a normal line. Normal line. What I'm going to explain here means uh, light ray. The light ray.
which is a light ray passes through along the principal axis. Light ray passes along the principal axis. So this light ray goes side. This light ray does not deviate. It goes side along the principal axis. Along the principal axis. This is a curved surface. This curved surface suffers. This is a medium one. This is a medium number two. Light travels from light travels from uh, air, and this is a uh, water. Do you know already? I told you very clearly. So light travels from one medium to another medium along the normal line means uh, the light ray does not deviate. Does not deviate. This is a uh, ray uh, travels along. This incident ray strikes normal normally, and it enters into the other medium. It goes side. It goes side. This ray also does not deviate. Does not deviate. Light ray strikes normally. Normally, the light ray does not deviate. The light ray goes side. This is also light ray strikes normally at this point, and it goes side also. The ray does not deviate. Does not deviate. This is rule number one. This is a rule number one. This is a rule number one. Next other cases. Next other case. For example, this is a you see, this is a filled with water. This is water. We are calling this is a taken as denser medium. Why you we are taking the denser medium means uh, speed of light in your watch is uh, 2.5 into 10 per eight meter per second. That is the taken as denser medium. Now this is the pole. This is center of curvature. This line is we are calling center of curvature. This is a pole. Right. You see that this is shape. This is outside shape. This is outside shape. We are calling this is a convex, convex surface. Surface is convex. This is actually curved surface. Curved surface. Upper part uh, appears that this is a convex surface. Convex. Now we will see. This is outside is air, as taken as a radar, radar medium. Speed of light in air, air is three to ten per eight meter per second. That is taken as a radar medium. Speed of light in your watch ray is two point five to ten per eight meter per second. That is taken as a denser medium, denser medium. More speed means that is taken as radar medium. Less speed means that is taken denser medium. Already I told you very clear. Now light ray is a travel. This is a light ray. Beam of light ray travels parallel to the principal axis and strikes a strikes a convex surface. Strikes a convex surface. This is a beam of light traveling parallel to the principal axis. Principal axis and strikes the convex surface. Strikes convex surface. Do you know very well this is a normal line. This is a Normal light. Do you know one thing? Light travels from radar medium to denser medium. Refractor ray, refractor ray bends towards the normal. Bending towards the normal. This is a refractor ray. This is a refractor ray. Refractor ray bending towards the normal. This is a normal light. This is a refractor ray. Refractor ray bending towards the normal. Towards the normal light. What I'm going to explain means. This is a refractor ray. This is incident ray. Incident ray. This is a light ray travels. Uh, uh, this is a light ray. Light ray. A light ray travels parallel to the principal axis and striking on the surface. Refractor ray. Refractor ray bends towards the normal. This is a normal light. This refractor ray is uh, bending towards the normal light. Normal light. So we are calling this is a uh, we call it. This is I. This is N. We are calling this is the angle of I. Angle of. This is N. Normal line. This is R. Angle between here to here. We are calling angle of R. Angle of R. Angle of refractor ray. That is the rule number one. Rule number. So another case. Another case. Next remaining case. Remaining case. I'm going to explain. You see. This is center of formation. Draw the normal line. Draw the. This is a point. One point here. 
I will see mm, this is all. Now in series, uh, in series convex also is concave surface. I'm taking the concave. Suppose uh, this is a denser medium. This is also a radar. This is a denser medium. Radar. Light travels from light. This is a light ray. This is a beam of light travels parallel to the principal axis. This is a we call principal axis. We call this is a principal axis. Principal axis. This is a light ray. Light traveling. Light traveling. Light travels parallel to the principal axis and uh, strikes. Uh, strikes. Uh, this is what we call convex surface. Convex surface. Convex surface. Light travels parallel to the principal axis and strikes the uh, convex surface. It travels from denser medium to radar medium. Denser medium to denser medium to radar medium. Its uh, refractor moves away from the normal. Away from the normal. Away from the normal that can extend and meet and this point. It at uh, this point. This is a refractory. This is instant ray. Instant ray. You see the first case. Light travel. Uh, this is a beam of light is uh, travels parallel to the principal axis and strikes the convex uh, surface. Uh, light travels from beta two and denser medium. Beta two, denser medium. Refractory is bending towards the normal. This is a normal bending towards the normal. Now we will see light ray. This is a light ray. Light ray travels uh, parallel to the principal axis and strikes convex surface. Travels from denser medium to beta medium. Refractor bend away from the normal. This is a normal line. This is a normal line. It's bending away from the normal. This refractor ray extended uh, dotted lines in the backward direction. Backward direction. That is uh, one more rule. One more. Next other case. This is a convex uh, convex surface. This is a convex surface. Convex surface. Surfaces. Next, I'll take into the one more, one more cases. Keep in your mind this point, very, very important. This is a basic point. Now I'm taking. Now I'm taking this is a concave surface. Concave surface I'm taking. Right now I'm taking concave surface. But here I'm taking this is also a convex. This is also in series convex, but I'm taking concave means you will see first of all this is a pole center of curvature, and the concave surface means this is a in series concave. In a way, is a concave surface. Concave surface. This is a denser medium. This is a radar medium. Radar medium. Now this is a radar medium. Denser. Light. This is a normal light. I'm drawing this is a normal line. normal line. Normal line. Light travels. This is a light ray. Light ray. This is a light ray. This is a light ray travels uh, parallel to the principal axis and strikes the uh, concave surface. Uh, travels from denser medium to radar medium. Denser medium to radar medium. This is a normal ray. This is bending away from the normal. This is bending away from the normal. This is we call brief ray. The pressure. This is bending away from the normal because this is the angle of R. This is what we are calling. This is the angle of I. This is the angle of I. Angle of I. That is all. Next, uh, last one. You will see this is a pole. This is the center of curvature. Center of curvature. Now you will see. Uh, light travels. This is a denser medium. Denser medium. This is a radar. Radar. Medium. Now this is a <coughs> one point I'm touching. This is a we call a normal line. Normal. Now a concave surface. Concave surface means this is outer is this is concave. Outer part is this is the outer part. Concave surface. Concave surface. Inner part is uh, inner part is convex, outer part is uh, concave. Light travels. Uh, this is a light ray. Light ray travels. Uh, light ray travels parallel to the principal axis. Parallel to the principal axis. Light ray travels uh, parallel to the principal axis from radar medium to denser medium. 
refractory refractory bends this is the actual direction of spray this is a concave surface light travels parallel to the principal axis and strikes concave surface that travels from radar medium to then denser medium it is bending uh, towards the normal towards the normal towards the normal this can be extend this refractory this is a refractory can extend it will be major on this point on this point this is a basic point very 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 important so you will understanding uh, you will understand this basic point basic points very clearly so next i am going to explain image formation refraction of light at curved surfaces derivation of curved surface image formation derivation of curved surface you are able to understand very clearly so when means uh, you are uh, you could understand this four four basic rules means uh, you are you are able to understand next coming concept next coming concept this is very 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 important very very important so before i explain to this is a curved surface this is a pole center of formation this is we call normal light one light ray light ray strikes normally it goes straight there is no deviation there is no deviation one more light ray this is also one point this is another point joins this one means we call this is a normal light light ray strikes normally it goes straight there is no bending this is very important very very important this is a basic point <coughs> basic point so you will be understand this one means uh, <coughs> the chapter is very easy. so once again i'm going to explain <coughs> concave surface you will see the here <coughs> this is a curved surface curved surface outer part outer part is a convex surface inner part is concave this is a inner part is in a inside part is a, in, in inner part is a convex surface here outer part is a convex surface convex surface this is a you know very well this is a curved surface curved surface inside is a water that this is a denser medium outer is a radar medium air is taken as radar medium light travels from radar medium to denser do you know very well refractor bends towards normal this is a light ray light travels light ray travels parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis strikes the convex surface and light travels from radar medium to denser medium radar medium to denser medium refractor bends towards normal this is a normal line this refractor bends towards normal that is next you see this is a denser medium this is a radar medium this is a convex surface this is a light ray travels uh, uh, light ray is uh, traveling parallel to the principal axis and strikes uh, the convex surface uh, it, it, it from denser medium to radar medium the so refractor moves away from the normal this is a normal line it is moving away from the normal this can be extended it meet at this point because this is a because this is a focal point you know i think focal point now you see this tells uh, next to concave surface this is also concave concave surface concave surface where is the concave surface outer part outer part outer part what here inner part inner part inner part now we'll see this is a light ray is a traveling parallel to the principal axis and strikes the concave surface and it travels from denser medium to radar medium the refractor bends away from the normal this is a normal line it's bending away from the normal. this is a normal line it's bending away from the normal the refractor is bending away from the normal you see the this is a denser medium radar medium this is a light ray traveling parallel to the principal axis and strikes the concave surface it travels from denser medium to radar medium means uh, uh, Sorry, radar medium to denser medium means uh, refractor bends towards the normal. Towards the normal, this can be extended at this point because this is a, a focal point. Focal point. 
this is a light ray it strikes normally it goes straight there is no deviation it does not deviate this is a light ray light ray it strikes normally normally it goes straight it does not deviate it does not deviate this is a basic point this is a basic point next the form is not next next derivation i am going to explain derivation derivation of curved surface formula for for formula formula image 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 formation image formation image formation image formation derivation of curved surface derivation of curved surface derivation of curved surface okay now i'm going to take the diagram this is see clearly now so this is a curved surface this is a filled with water this is antiquing n2 this is a n2 refractive index of the water refractive index of the water in outside air is when enter that is n1 is a this value is n1 is equal to n n2 is equal to antiquing it refractive index of the air is equal to value is refractive index of the water antiquing yes antiquing yes now this is the center of the curvature center of the sphere we call this is a principal axis principal axis one object is as placed at this point <coughs> this object pass uh, one ray this light ray strikes normally it goes straight it goes straight it does not deviate it goes straight it goes straight next so this is a ray strike one point here this is a ray strike one point here this is center of curvature draw the normal draw the normal line this is a we are drawing the normal line because this is incident ray this is a light ray strike strike the convex surface convex surface we call this is a i because this is a i'm picking it on Theta one means uh, angle of incident ray. Angle of incident ray. Now, light travels from radar medium to denser. Light travels from radar medium to denser medium. Refractory bend towards the number. This is a refractory. This is we call refractory. This is a ray both sides. Both are meeting at this point. Image form here. Image form at this place. This is image. This is object. O means object. O passes one ray goes straight. This is another ray. This is a refracted ray. This is one more refracted ray. Two refracted ray meet at this point. So image formed at this point. Image formed at this point. This is image. This is object. This is what we call P. 
we are drawing this is a perpendicular drawn this line is we call yes i'm checking yes i'm checking yes this is angle between here to here is a alpha i'm taking this is a point i'm taking a point i'm taking <laughs> now this is a because this is a refractory angle between angle between a normal and here means this is a i'm taking theta theta to mean angle of refractory angle of refractory distance from pole to o means this is a u u means objective distance from here to here is uh, from here to here is means image the distance image distance from here to here c point that is the radius of curvature radius of curvature radius of curvature <coughs> radius of curvature u means object distance object distance so v means image the distance image distance r means small r small r means we are taking capture r radius of curvature radius of curvature radius of curvature uh, radius of curvature so what is the meaning of radius of curvature means uh, distance from pole to center curvature distance between pole to center curvature is called as radius of curvature radius of Which is a which. This is a point. Now, now we will see angle angle O A C angle O A C is equal to A O C. A this is a O A C angle O C is equal to. Exterior angle is equal to interior angle. This is alpha. I'm taking this is a beta. I'm taking this is a gamma. I'm taking angle center. Alpha plus beta is equal to theta one. This is a exterior angle is equal to sum of interior angle. Sum of interior angle. This is a theta. Now next to uh, A C I A C I triangle A C I. This is a exterior. Uh, this is a exterior. This is interior angle. Exterior angle is equal to sum of interior angle. Interior angle that is the gamma plus theta two. Now theta two is equal to. I am writing this is a beta minus gamma. This is the angles we are we want. Theta one means angle of incidence. Theta two means angle of refraction. Angle of refraction. Now at this a point, tends to apply the. Uh, Stenz law. Law apply. Apply such a point. What is the Stenz law? This is n one theta one. N one sine i is equal to n two sine r. We have this is a Stenz. Now n one is equal to sine of angle i. Angle i means we are taking theta one. This is called angle means angle of r means the sine. That is a theta two. Now n one is equal to sine theta one means what is a theta one? Alpha plus beta. So next n two sine theta two means what is a theta two? Beta minus gamma. Now these rays are these rays these rays are very close to the principal axis. The incident rays are very close to the principal axis. The rays we are calling parallel axis parallel axis. Parallel axis lines. In parallel axis lines, uh, we are neglecting sine. Very small, very small. That's why I'm writing sine alpha plus beta. This is n two beta minus gamma. Now n one alpha plus n one beta is equal to n two beta minus n two gamma. I'm writing. I'm writing. Now from the triangles, I'm taking the triangles. In this triangle, from the triangle, in this triangle, this is the triangle, A O P, A O P triangle, tan alpha is tan alpha is equal. This is opposite side. A P and P and N are very close to each other. Very close to each other. I am taking the P, and directly I am writing. Now 
otherwise you can write one minute so this is opposite side a and by uh p o p o i'm going to write a and means a and a uh sorry a n this is opposite this is adjacent side we are writing n o i'm writing this is uh p is equal to n ma both are very near very near very near that's why i'm writing p. thank you thank you all ready so next so tan beta tan beta tan beta is equal to okay tan beta tan beta is equal to this is a triangle triangle what is a triangle a uh rest of p c triangle you can take tan alpha okay you can apply the tan alpha here tan beta tan beta is equal to this is a a n by n c i'm writing a n n and p are both are very close to each other i'm writing c next is this triangle this is a triangle uh what triangle tan alpha tan gamma is equal to opposite side this is opposite side a n by this is at the side uh n i so a n by n i n and p are both are very close to each other i'm writing here this is i'm writing this is i'm writing this is a i'm writing now we see <laughs> so this is a very small angle very small angle recently is a this ray is, this is a ray this ray is very close to this one very close to it very close to each other means uh, angles are so very good angles are tan alpha is equal i am writing alpha is equal a and y p this is a beta is equal i am writing a and y p very small tan gamma is equal to i am writing a and y p the reason is a uh, very small angle tan alpha is equal we are writing alpha tan beta is equal to we are writing beta tan gamma is equal to gamma we are writing so why means rays are very close to the uh, principal axis the rays are we are calling uh, parallel axis approximately parallel axis approximately that's why so this is angle series uh, we are taking this now we have the equation n1 alpha plus uh, n1 beta is equal to n2 beta minus n2 gamma now n1 alpha means we are reading alpha a n y p so next n1 beta means we are going to write a n y p c is equal to n2 so beta means a n y p c minus n2 gamma means this is gamma a n y p a you see common a n common often and cancel each other both side of the equation next term this is a n by n1 by p not plus n1 by pc is equal to n2 by pc minus n2 by p you see that this is a pc pc take the side this term may also take this. now n1 by this one take the side n2 by pi plus n1 by p not is equal to n2 by pc minus n1 by p n1 by p. Now you will see. Now you will see. Now you see this is all. This is. So this is all. This is you see that PI. So what is the PI? PI. So what is the PI? This is a PI. Rays goes this direction. Incident ray goes this direction. This is a ray, and PI. PI means distance. This is a distance. Incident direction. This is a direction of incident ray. This is a distance of the object distance. Both are same direction means so we are taking B is half. We are calling this is a. We are calling the same convention. Next to PO. Next to PO. Next to PO means the uh, very sub PO. P O. This is a direction. Incident ray goes this direction, but the direction is in opposite direction. Both are in opposite direction means we are taking this and negative. This is a distance. Distance. All distance measure from pole. Pole to this direction. 
this is a direct slope increase direct slope increase and the distance both are in opposite direction that's why uh, so, so minus is uh, kept beside the u beside the u next to pc pc means where is the pc 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 means uh, we are calling that is the radius of the Uh, this is all distance measured from pole. This is pole. This is a direction of. This is a uh, direction of distance. This is a direction of incident. Both are same direction. We are taking this is a press R. Press R. We are calling this is a sign convention. Sign convention. This all are is put in the circuit. What we are getting is n2 by pi v plus n1 by p0. This is a minus q. Minus two means minus T P R U. This is a uh, N two minus N one by P C. P C means plus R. This is a Q equation. This is a uh, image formation. Image formation. Derivation of curved surface formula. Curved surface formula. N two means uh, refractive index of water. N one means uh, refractive index of air. V means uh, image distance. U means uh, object distance. R means uh, radius of curvature. Radius of curvature. This is a derivation. Derivation means what? Wow. One second. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain a diagram. Diagram. You'll understand. Okay. Okay. Can you see? This is a cylindrical, transparent cylindrical silk. This is a center of curved surface. This is also center of sphere. We call this is a center of curvature. This is the pole. Straight line joins these two points. We call we are calling this is a principal axis. Principal axis. So we are calling this is a normal axis. Normal. This is one point. This is another point on the on the curved surface. Line joins uh, two points. We call that is the normal. Line. Normal. This is object. Who is object? Object placed on principal axis. This is a uh, air. This is air. We are calling this is a radar medium. This is a filled with water. This is a thickness a denser medium. Denser. Refractive index of n1 is. This is the refractive index of n. This is a curved surface. This is a curved surface. This curved surface uh, surface suffers the uh, refractive index of n and refractive index of the water. Refractive index of the water. Now this object uh, passes the rays. One ray, one ray passes. Uh, one ray strikes normally, and it goes straight. It goes straight. It goes straight. Next, the object passes one more ray. The ray strikes at this is a ray strikes at this point. Point. This this is an incident ray makes an angle alpha with the principal axis. The principal axis. This is a this is a angle theta. What what is the meaning of theta one means? Sir? This is a normal line. This is incident ray. This is a we call. So this is a theta one means. Sir? Angle of incident ray. Angle of incident. The light travels from rate of medium to delta medium means the uh, refractor bends towards the normal. Towards the normal. This is a refractor. This is the angle we are calling. This is a theta. Refractor angle theta. Angle of refractor. Angle of refractor. So one ray. This is the light travels from rate of medium to delta medium. This is the refractor ray meet at this point. Meet at this point. 
this is incident ray this is a refractor emit at this point here image image form here image form now we will see this is a water removal sphere uh, now this is also i'm drawing the one light cycle and this is a perpendicular line perpendicular line this is i'm taking here here this is a angle is beta here is angle of gamma angle gamma this is a fold distance from this is the object distance from fold to object object is we are calling u u means object distance u means object distance from fold to here is uh, this is the image position this is the position of the fold this is the position of the image this is the v means the uh, image the distance image distance this is a we call radius of curvature distance from fold to means that is a radius of curvature radius of curvature that is a diagram now i'm taking this is a point a point a and the sense to apply at the point a sin 1 sin uh, of sin of sin i is equal to n to sin of then what is equal to sin theta 1 is equal to n to sin theta 2 theta means we are writing and the angle OAC is equal to theta 1 is equal to this is a exterior angle is equal to interior angle we are writing next triangle this triangle this is a triangle this triangle i'm taking exterior angle is equal to interior angle sum of interior angles this is a we are getting theta 1 theta 2 theta 1 theta 2 put it in the equation we are getting this one next sin theta we are neglecting why we are neglecting means uh, this uh, instant rays light rays are very near to the very close to the print axis the, uh, the trace uh, so we, uh, the, we are calling the trace uh, parallel parallel rays the parallel rays we are calling uh, parallel axis ray. parallel axis ray. that's why sin theta neglecting n1 alpha plus beta is equal to n2 beta minus gamma so we are getting this ray. now from the triangle tan alpha tan beta tan gamma is equal to tan alpha beta gamma we are getting this one so now this all values put in this equation we are getting this now PA is uh, this is a uh, PI this is a uh, distance distance uh, measured from pole to image is this direction incident ray travel this way incident ray traveling this way direction of incident ray and direction of distance both are same means we are taking pop this is a PO PO distance measured from pole to O this is a direction of distance this is a direction of incident ray both are in opposite direction uh, so we are taking minus next pc pc means this is a distance from p to c this is our this is a direction of incident direction of incident ray and the uh, direction of distance both are in the same direction means uh, uh, plus we are taking plus we are taking. all very put in this equation n2 by v is uh, n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r v means uh, image distances u means object to distance R means radius of curvature. N1 means refractive index of the medium one. N2 means refractive index of the medium two. Medium one means air. Medium two means water. Now, this is your. Okay, this is a derivation is over. Tomorrow I will explain. Thank you. Thank you.